One, two, three. Each mask David Papineau picks up is one less piece of PPE polluting the environment. Yesterday I picked up mask number 32,000. Papineau has been collecting masks and other pandemic waste for one year. It started as a way to kill pandemic boredom, but quickly turned into an everyday outing. General disgust with the amount of litter on the ground, masks in particular. Looking under parked cars, in alleyways and near catch basins, Papineau says he's still shocked by how many masks he comes across, a journey he documents online. Once the snow melted, it was like retreating glaciers, uh, offering up an archaeological feast of masks everywhere. Around schools, um, shopping centers, um, around transit, definitely on major streets. According to Metro Vancouver, in 2020, residents in the region threw out 528 million pieces of PPE, including more than 100 million masks, 48 million wipes, and 371 million gloves. And while these items can help protect people during the pandemic, Metro Vancouver says people should take steps to ensure they end up in a landfill rather than litter. So most of the disposable masks we see are a plastic fiber and so they're not something that you can recycle in your blue bin. They're not something that can go in the compost bin. The responsible thing to do is to put them in the garbage. Papineau, who is a long distance runner, uses apps to track his mass collecting, a strategy he says helps him cover more ground. Tell me where I've gone in the last month or two weeks or whatever so that I know that there's going to be a better chance of finding masks. At this point, Papineau says he scoured at least half of the city, sometimes spending hours searching for masks. I think I've walked close to four hours um, picking up masks and I'll end up with, you know, 500 masks. Earlier this week, BC lifted its mask mandate in low-risk indoor public spaces, a change Papineau hopes leads to less waste on the street and in the ocean. Janella Hamilton, CBC News, Vancouver.